All week long, we've been unveiling our trader acronyms. Today, Karen Feinerman and Guy Adami will reveal their carefully curated words. <laughs> so, Karen, what's your acronym? Well, you know, I had two options. Either I could go with what I thought would be best in the portfolio, or I could pick a word and then choose investments that fit that. That's how we do it, don't, don't we? I decided to go with the former. So <laughs> I'm taking a little bit of liberty on the uh, acronym part. So mine is HELM. And the H part is healthcare. The way I've chosen to play it is through the XLV. There's a couple of different options, but the XLV gives you it, Lily, which I, it has sucked all the oxygen out, but the rest is much more diversified United Health, JJ, Medtronic, AbV, Thermo Fisher. So that's the H. The E is also cheating a little bit it's the XLE, the energy ETF. So you all know the energy story, right? I mean, I can't believe where this is trading on a PE basis. It's gotten cheaper and cheaper. You have ExxonMobil, uh, Chevron, Conoco, EOG. I mean, it's ridiculously cheap. Very out of favor this year, staying with that. The other two, L, Louis Vuitton. So now we're going to the Now we're going to letters. real letters, okay. real letters, yeah. Fine. Hell, uh, right. <laughs> Louis Vuitton, this is the, uh, obviously, you know, the premier luxury goods name. And it's had a very difficult year. It is really a embedded uh, China rebound story. So much of the revenue that is the biggest geography, and so I think we will start to see that work. And then the last one, Meta. I hate picking something up this big, but it's still incredibly cheap. I think it's got a lot of momentum. I think we're going to see at, at 24 times earnings. It's not expensive for an extraordinary company, and so that's my acronym. Oh. She, she could have gone XXLM, be like a Roman numeral. Like we, a I, we tried that. We actually, yes. It would be 1070. Yeah, which doesn't XX really. I think M. It, or Meta could have no, been like, um, Lockheed Martin, and it could have been Hell. Mm. But she doesn't nice. want. But, it's, but that's not what she wants. Tim. I understand. Anyway, so I'm tr so in trying to play this game, racy. Well, I'm trying to play racy. by the rules. And in the commercial break, it was brought to my attention, by the way, mm. that Icebreaker used this. So I would like, can I raise my hand? You just did. What, what nice. would you like to do, guys? I'd like to change. What do they call it when you do that? By a audible. What, oh. No, the letters when you put them together. Acronym. An acronym. It's yeah, supposed to spell a word. It. Like. So yeah. Take something out. And I'm no minute. I'm just going to rearrange, rearrange the letters okay, like a okay, scramble. That's that's right. So I was going to be calm, but apparently the breaker had that. So I'm going to make it clam instead. Excellent. Because why not? It's fun, fun like little organic thing. <laughs> First one is since Tim took Chevron. I think somebody took Exxon. I'll go ConocoPhillips. I'll go third man in the draft. Still reasonable on valuation. And by the way, where the rest of these energy companies are selling off, it's held in there almost at an all-time high. Give me COP. Ellen, my clam. I didn't is, <laughs> wow, I didn't even knew you chose Lockheed. I'm sorry. Oh, I, but, I, oh well, yeah. if you pay attention, cheapest thing now. you can do. <laughs> Lockheed Martin. We obviously spent the first five minutes of the show talking about it. Valuation is still reasonable. Defense spending, I think it's 56% of the budget now. Stick with LMT, best in breed. The A, I got to stick with gold. Agnico Eagle Mines, levered to the price. I think the price goes higher on the back of the other things we talked about. And M, nobody will guess my M. Maybe some folks out there. You know what? With all the infrastructure spending, look what Martin Marietta has done. And over the course of the last two weeks, an upgrade by Morgan Stanley, an upgrade by J.P. Morgan, valuation not stretched. They win to aggregate cement. All the things that Tim has in his garage, yeah. Martin Marietta wins to. In his head?